Hi, this is Kanav Abu. In the last video, we discussed about how to perform deleting operations with the grid view control. In this video, we will discuss about how to perform editing operations within the grid view control. So, here you can go to the form1.cs design, select the grid view control, ellipse button, edit columns. I will try to click on add button and here I will give the name of this uh, as edit. In the type, I will try to select as data grid view button column. And header, header text shall give as edit. Just click on add button. Close. And here I will try to set some properties. The text shall give as edit. And using use column text for button is equals to true. Just click on OK button. Right. Once debug and check the output. Here you can see edit button and delete button both are visible. And here I will try to add some records in my table. So here I inserted some records. So that you can see. Now, whenever user clicks on edit button, we obviously know that cell content click event will fire. Now, here, whenever user clicks on delete button, I want to delete the record. When user clicks on edit button, I want to update the record. So, actually, in grid view control, each and every row can be identified by using index number. So, always index number start from where? 0. Is it clear? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And similarly, each and every column can be identified by using index number. Always index number starts from 0, 1, 2, 0 to size minus 1. Now, whenever I click on delete button, I want to delete the record. When I click on edit button, I want to edit the record. So, I want to perform different operations based on the column index. So, here I will try to write some code. Already we have written the code for delete button. So, I will cut this code and here I will write if e dot column index is equals to 0, it means that I clicked on delete button, else I clicked on edit button. Is it clear? Whenever user clicks on delete button, then the column index is what? 0. Let us see here. When I click on delete button, then automatically cell content click event will fire. The column index is what? 0. Then it will delete the record. Is it clear? So, here it is displaying the error message. Why? Because here the index value the cells of 1 means it is not uh, your employee number. See here, whenever user clicks on delete button, here you see, in this row, the index number again starts from 0. This is 1, this is 2. So, I want to catch the employee number, that is cells of what? 2. I will just modify this one, because as I added the edit button extra, the cell was just shifted. Now, here you see. Once when user clicks on delete button, cell content click event will fire. Now it will delete the record. I hope you understood. Now, so whenever user clicks on edit button, step number one, count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control. So each and every row can be identified by using index number. Always the index number starts from 0 to size minus 1. And uh, catch the index value of the row where user clicks on what? Edit button. So here the index number is what? 3. And then we need to catch the cell based on which user wants to update the record. So in this row, each and every cell can be identified by using index number 0, 1, 2, 3 as well as 4. So I want to catch the cell and then I want to catch the value that is available within that particular cell. So cells of 2 dot value means 104 will come. Cells of 3 dot value means Jacob will come. Cells of uh, uh, 4 dot value means 23,000 will come. So, here I will write some code here, int emp number is equals to, here I will try to convert, convert dot 2 into 32 of data grid view 1 dot rows of, rows of e dot row index dot cells of 2, cells of 2 means e number dot value. Similarly, I want to catch the employee name. So, string e name is equals to data grid view 1 dot rows of e dot row index e dot row index dot cells of 3 cells of 3 dot what value dot 2 string similarly I want to catch the salary double salary is equals to convert dot convert dot 2 double convert dot 2 double of here I will write something like this data grid view 1 dot rows of e dot row index dot cells of 4 dot value. Is it clear? 
so now i want to update the record let us see here for example here i will try to debug and check the output i will uh, give some uh, i will update the name as robert bosch and the salary i will try to update as 40000 and when i click on edit button press f11 as i clicked on edit button the control goes to else block and here i got the employee number 103 employee name robert bosch and salary 40000 now i have to update the record so how to update the record here you can create the connection to the database so i'll try to create the connection and then i will try to open the connection i will use connection oriented architecture then i will try to pass the query sql command cmd is equals to new sql command of i'll try to pass the query comma con and then i will try to execute the query cmd dot execute non query and finally i will try to close the connection con dot close off and then i want to fill the data is it clear so here i will try to pass the query string query string query is equals to here you can see i will write the update query update table name table name is employee set e name is equals to um single quote double quote plus i have my e name this is my variable name and uh, comma salary salary is equals to single quote double quote plus this is my salary my new updated salary is available in the variable this is column name this is variable name where where e number is equals to single quote double quote plus here i will try to pass emp number is it clear i will try to pass the query comma con execute the query and close the connection press f5 here you say i will try to update the record from Robert to Robert Bosch, salary 30,000 to 40,000. Click on edit button. F11, F11, F11. Now see my update query here. Just keep the breakpoint and check here. Update table name. Employee set uh, E name is equals to Robert Bosch. Salary is equals to 40,000. Where E number is equals to 103. My query was executed successfully. Just press F5. Go to your database and check whether the record is updated or not. I hope you understood so here I want to change my requirement just when I click on edit button I want to display this employee details in the text boxes let us see how to do that example same just I want to modify the same example is it clear so here I will try to go to my form1.cs within the else part I'll try to delete this code I'll try to delete this code just I will catch the values employee number employee name and salary and i want to display these values in the text boxes so text box one dot text is equals to and here i will try to display the value text box two dot text is equals to and here i will try to display the value text box three dot text is equals to press f5 now one minute by default we already know that text box will accept the data in the form of what string right so i will try to convert this value into string dot to string and here also I will try to convert the value in the form of string. Is it clear? Now here you just press F5 and check the output. Whenever user clicks on edit button, it will display the employee details in the text boxes. Now here if I try to update the record, I want to update robot, Bosch to robot and I want to update the salary from 40,000 to 30,000. When I click on update button, I want to update the record. So just double click on update button and we can write the code. Create the connection, open the connection, pass the query. Here I will try to write the query. String query is equals to update, update table name. My table name is employee. Here I will write set e name is equals to single code, double code, plus. Where is my employee name? Text box 2 dot text. Text box 2 dot text, comma, salary salary is equals to single code double code plus here i will try to write text box three dot text is it clear where where e number is equals to single code double code plus here i will mention text box one dot text text box one dot text there are several ways where you can update the record but whatever here the main important concept is what um, we need to catch the index value of the row and then we need to catch the controls and then we need to catch the values. Is it clear? Let us see here. When I click on edit button 
and I want to update Robert Bosch to Robert and salary from 40,000 to 20,000. Just click on update button. Now go to your database and check here. Is it clear? Execute. I think it was updated. Hope you understood. So in this manner you can perform. You can customize the data grid view control in Windows Forms. Here instead of uh, cancel button you can write something like what? Close button. If you want to close the form when user clicks on this button you can close. So you can use some predefined method called close. This dot close. This represents the current class object. So here you see. Just close. It will close the form. Similarly, if you want to add any other columns within the grid view, you can add. Here you can see, you can add the checkbox column, data grid view one dot checkbox column. Then automatically checkbox is visible within the data grid view control. Here you can see. When you check the checkbox, then you can perform the operations. Similarly, if you want to uh, add any other controls, you can see here. Edit columns, click on add button. Here you can see. Something like combo box, that is the drop down list control, link label, link button control. Whatever the control you want, you can add. Or even you can add the text box control also. Within the grid view control. Is it clear? Like this you can customize the grid view control. Is it clear? This is my text box. And this is my check box. This is my combo box. Is it clear? In this manner you can work with data grid view control in Windows Forms. For more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as log into my Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.